All right, so here's the former UFC light heavyweight champion, Jamal Sweet Dreams. Hill wrested the title away from Glover Teixeira at UFC 283. That was January of 2023. One of the better championship performances of that year. But then Jamal Hill tore his Achilles playing basketball. He was unable to defend the title, which eventually he was forced to vacate. But as an athlete, as a boxer, as a grappler, a lot of people still believe this is the best 205-pound fighter in the world. He's got another opportunity to prove just that here on The Proving Ground tonight. Well, we have seen a lot of fighters expeditiously rise to mixed martial arts superstardom. But how about Alex Pereira? Crosses over into mixed martial arts from kickboxing and essentially takes the sport by storm? By storm, John. I mean, so fast to go from a guy that was what can be to the champion. But when you possess this level of skill, when your kickboxing is second to none, and then you train with Glover and you develop wrestling defense, you know that you have a chance. Pajeda not only had a chance, he took it all the way to the title. And tonight, he looks to get another victory. He's seemingly a perfect mix of intensity and composure. He has heart, championship medal, Alex Pereira, the total package. We're certainly glad he's here in the UFC. Our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight championship fight. And now one more time for the official introductions. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Jamal Sweet Green Hill! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the former UFC middleweight champion of the world, Herb Dean, our third man in the octagon for this one. All right, early round action here, and how about the run that Jamal Sweet Dreams Hill has been on? Some people believe, in terms of his overall striking, he's the best in the light heavyweight division right now. Certainly, he believes that. Confidence is high, and he believes in this matchup he should be able to showcase his hands yet again. to land. Moving to his left now. Yeah. now continues to sway with every huge shot being landed. Back and forth we go. He's 
got to try to finish here. What a fight. Well, he's got a pretty good sidekick, and you saw it right there. He did it great, and it pushed his opponent back. Notice how it creates space and allows him to get back to where he's comfortable. Just misses with that one. Call it tie here in the clinch. Oh, nice scramble by him there. Take down defense on point. He is a master in transition. Let's go. Set up that takedown. Misses again with a right hand. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. Oh, man! Oh, my goodness! All right, well, you can see in plain sight here, his leg is hurt, starting to limp a little bit. Yeah, you're starting to see him limping. I mean, you take so many leg kicks, you, you're going to limp. It, it's, it's natural. Oh, oh no! Adversity here. He's on his cheek, sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. Ready. Ready. Go. All right, round two. This crowd is going sick after what they saw in that previous round. Truly an all-out brawl. Several moments on both sides, and the fight is still going on. Incredible. Great moments by both of these fighters. Let's see who can continue down the path and really try and finish this fight. Shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. You have to fight, bro. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. That's how you control the fight. You fight behind the jab. effort out of this fighter here tonight. The ref had no choice but to step in, and that is how you leave the judges out of it. All right, Bruce Buffer now inside the Octagon has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 30 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world. 